this will be a pretty interesting video so in this video we're actually going to be creating something more productive so part seven this has this has everything to do with part seven so this is part seven i'm gonna teach you guys how to add the uh how to add the scheduler now scheduler technically like it connects everything it's, it's good right so it's good stuff so i'm also gonna teach you guys how to get it so uh you're probably gonna have to go in the description for everything so yeah let's start let's open visual studio i think this is our dll i'm not even sure well we're gonna assume this is the, our dll uh we're not gonna add any of this because it's not gonna be good so we're gonna remove i step actually we're gonna keep it right there so we're gonna start with we're gonna write in one uh guys just copying code i probably didn't even show this i probably showed this off camera but uh this is the code so we're gonna just work on this right now so let's work on it so first what we're gonna do is we're going to be uh Wait. Okay, so uh, sorry for that. Uh, now what we're gonna do, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go and create a new file over here. And we're gonna name it scheduler.h. This is not my scheduler thanks to Fishy, it's on Headhunter. How do you get that? How do you get it? Uh, you're gonna have to go to this. This is not, just credit the person who made it. It's fish sticks. So all I have to do is credit the person. This just, just give a link to the GitHub. So you wanna go here into Headhunter source i can't write from scratch it's gonna take forever i do know how to write a little bit you can copy both of these you can just copy the you just have to copy the same part so you got all the code my te technically my code mine is a bit more modified because a really good friend named ski hacker sent me it he's also the owner of panda so i'm not gonna disclose any of that so uh just get that scheduler i'll probably leave a link leave a, leave a link in description so make a schedule h and paste the code now no it is being a skid but i'm not using it for myself i could be not okay i'm probably i'm probably gonna use it i don't know so you're gonna paste that code you're gonna get a lot of errors so just go here to fix that over here so you're gonna get more errors that's okay just leave it like that and you get more errors what you want to do now is you want to go here to the description and paste those it's in the paste bin so we're gonna also paste that now uh one thing i'm going to tell you guys before we start you're gonna have the base as well uh so none of this is mine of course it's by uh fish sticks so we're gonna have to write then we're writing here print add fishy so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our you don't got you guys don't have to add i step i just use it for my my own purposes i just don't i just hate opening ida and sorry for that mic move but uh now we're gonna add the scheduler so uh these two change almost every week but it's christmas break so it's not gonna change today this month probably so what you these these are aslr by the way so i subtracted zero whatever that what do you call that so i subtracted them so it's technically zero x i think that's it yeah so uh just gonna subtract them how do you get them i'm going to make a tutorial on that soon because uh i really don't have a fixed tutorial for that but i'll teach i'll teach you guys how to get this these are also simple i'll just type it like get scheduler Get, 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 what? bro, I can't talk, bro, I, I'm messed up right now, it's like so late, yeah, 9.46 is so late, but I normally sleep around 9.30, I have a schedule, so, yeah, 3.04, then 3.08, no 3.08, damn, yeah, so these barely change, I don't think you guys have to worry about this, but you guys gotta worry about these two, get scheduler and get state, I'll teach you guys how to get them, but these can be obtainable with get scheduler, it's a string and IDA, but uh, let's go into the more interesting part, so, what the hell happened here what the actual shit just happened here get data model it froze on get data model so we're gonna copy the rest there we go so now we added all of our injection parts these i'll tell you guys how to get later so now you want to go to your main code uh 
So go to your main code and then you're going to type in, you're going to paste in, first we're going to get this from the scanner, so scanner, what the hell? This get wait wait guys so my mic is in the mic mic was in the way so let's t this scheduler what the hell bro I swear to God bro oh so it's it's called that is weird okay well I probably don't have it oh yeah I don't have it well well I'm gonna retard so include scheduler now it's weird so first we're gonna do in print f dot Scanner dot get and then and then you go in oh I forgot that's how it works dot get that's a pretty weird form scanner dot come on bro come on come on dot get jobs no print jobs this is the same as headhunter the same method get data model Get script context now. Scanner dot get. Yo guys, please subscribe. We're trying to get to 100 subscribers before 2023. That's probably impossible. But uh, then we're gonna do in scanner dot get. Stay. There we go. So now jobs. DM. Ah, oh, come on, bro. Bro, I have a cheap ass microphone, so it's not like I can afford shit. SC. And then this is the last part. It's called Lua State. LS returned. You probably need to use STD count for this, so I'll just use that. Scanner. That. This changes every single time you inject, so there's no point of really copying this as the count inject injected so when this passes you can use any function in the roblox library that uses rl for example you can use deserialize print uh all that good shit get global but get global is aligned so you can probably run like setup or some shit but guys this is really helpful make sure to subscribe and comment but i don't, i'm also gonna test it for you guys because you guys are nerds uh so i'm also gonna be testing it for you guys so when what the oh okay well that's common all right so now i'm gonna build this and i'm gonna also show you guys how to use it in your own stuff and also guys if you want it to be like using a door all you have to do is use it like this so our uh, get global blah 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 you're gonna use that and then you're gonna use like whatever the function arguments so that's your rl you can also switch it to a door rl statement but i don't do that shit i don't i don't publish this shit i don't fuck with that shit so now we're gonna build let's go here open file location hopefully okay so uh lua you this is i'm probably gonna not, not continue this series I'll explain why. So technically, Lua Yu got Lua Yu. Uh, some bad shit happened to Lua Yu. Okay. So now we can't really comp uh, deserialize Lua Yu. Uh, technically, it's like Lua Yu load, but uh, switch. But now they inlined it, so we can't really create the goodies we need for the full tutorial. I'll still record it, but uh, we still don't have it. So let's inject each one. I hate when this happened. Okay. So it got Okay, so it might take a take a bit of time. Sometimes you gotta restart twice. So let's restart twice. Oh, oh I also put this through release. So yeah, that's better. So this will work. If it does not work, it's probably wrong with your compiling. It this work right now. I'm I'm working on a new exploit. It's called Astro. So it's just a text exploit, so let's see if this works. By all links in the description. So let's see now. See guys, he injected and returned our script execution. So this is our this is our number. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, drop a like. This is how you technically use it. Um so yeah guys, thanks for watching and uh, peace out. Make sure to subscribe. If you don't subscribe, I will literally come to Paris and I will